Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ulick4550 here, and I'm just continuing showing you guys what we all, what I all found uh, dumpster diving throughout the week, or you could just say last night, Saturday night, since there really wasn't anything else throughout the week. But uh, anyways, uh, showing you displays. They also had a display for the uh, Sims 3 late night expansion pack for the PC. So. Not too bad. And then also, we got a. Uh, I have no idea what this game's about, but create. I got two of them. And there's the back if you want to check out the back. <coughs> and then I got a lot of these display uh, inserts that are. I'm not in cases, so I gotta wipe out the game. Hopefully I can do this the right way. Wipe out the game. And Harry Potter years one through four. And then I got Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Donkey Kong Country Returns. And then uh Dark Riot, Fantasia, I think. And then another uh, Harry Potter, uh, Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. And then I got two NBA 2K11. They're kind of bent out a little bit, but still pretty good. They're not teared up or anything, so. Sin of Punishment Star Successor. And then I got another one of that. Arc Rise, I think. Fantasia. Super Mario Galaxy 2. And then I got an MMA, uh, yeah, MMA sports game right there for the PS3. Then I got Fable 3 for the 360. Medal of Honor. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Unleash 2, Smackdown vs. Raw 2011, and now we're to Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, and Rock Band 3. So yeah, there was a lot of these uh, displays over there, so hopefully I got them good in the video. But anyways, yeah, there was a lot of them. And then uh, that's not all. There's still more uh, that I got to show you guys. And it probably really isn't that much of a big deal. But, uh, they had like a crashed up Xbox 360, uh, system case. Yeah, a uh, case that they had. I mean, not a case, but a, a box that held the system. It was crushed, but the structure manuals and everything was still pretty good, so I just decided to grab that. And say, what the hell, you know, so I need some that I got. I never know. And then, uh, I doubt these will be worth anything. But I grabbed them anyways. They're just, uh, you know, I guess when they show, when they had cards for, like, the, the Apple App Store and, you know, the PlayStation Store and then the Xbox Live and all that, behind all those cards, they have these right here where they got to refill them. I guess they threw some of these out. But anyways, I just decided to take them anyways see what will happen in the next few years and just hold on to them and see what happens if nothing happens and you know I'll throw them out but anyways I'm gonna take a chance and see if anything will happen with this stuff right here so and then I also came across uh, these two things right here that Wii Sports case right here that come for the Nintendo Wii which is in pretty good condition it comes with the instruction on it but no game so, not too surprising, but it's still pretty good right there, in good condition. And then also I got the new Super Mario Bros. Wii, which I'm pretty sure this comes with the, uh, the 25th anniversary uh, Wii collection that they have. It doesn't have instruction manual or the game, so it doesn't matter though, it's still pretty good. I thought it, you know, it might be a good collector's item 
in a few years, so take it home and hold on to it for a while and see what happens. You know. And then also, the, it was crazy because there was this bag that we that I found, and I was going through that shit, and it had two, three things in there. The first thing was actual was actually a network adapter startup kit or startup disk, which actually. has a few games on there, demos, and you got the, the disc right there, which is, you know, kind of scratched up, but not too bad, and then you got the, I guess, instruction manual, iPad, and this is for the original uh, PS, the fat PS2, because you had to buy the uh, network adapter, which is what I want to try and get sometime. I might get it at a decent price somewhere. But uh, anyways, if I can get the instruction manual back in there. Anyways, yeah, I got that, which is pretty cool. Sadly, there was no network there was no network adapter in there, so it's kind of bummed out to find that out. But anyways, I got that. Also, yeah, another really good find was a multi-tap for the the original Fat PS2 which it looks like it's in pretty good condition still so you know you hook up four controllers, four memory cards, all that I haven't tried it out yet but I will and I'll let you guys know I'll post I'll post the uh, updates in this video as soon as I test out these kind of stuff and I'll let you guys know ahead of time so but anyways yeah it's pretty good I don't see anything wrong with it from the outside, so just gotta hook it up and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it or something. And then the last thing I found in that small bag that was in there was, I guess, uh, Logitech memory card. I mean, uh, controller, uh, wi a wireless controller adapter. I guess you want to call it that. You plug into your that you plug into your uh, controller port. And then if you got a if you have a Logitech wireless uh, controller, I guess you can use it. There was no controller in there, but I decided to take this adapter anyways, just in case maybe somebody has a Logitech controller and they don't have this piece right here. I'm not sure if you could use this with the, with another controller, but just in case someone wants to try it out, I got an extra piece right here, so got that. And then, I got a game right here, Ace Combat 4 Shattered Skies, which I played this at my friend's a while back, and I know it's freaking awesome. But it's not complete. It doesn't have no game on there, no, so I'll have to get that. But still pretty good. And then this one right here, yeah, this one was awesome. Tekken 4 right here and then you got the back right there but this one this one is complete right here <laughs> and I did test it out too I cleaned it out and I tried it out on my PS3 my PS3 is one of the uh, it's a 60 gigabyte model it's a 60 gigabyte model that was released <coughs> When it, when it released in 2006, 2007. But anyways, it does work and it's freaking awesome. So can't wait to play this. And also, that, that's not all. <laughs> Came across two other games. They didn't have cases or anything, but they were still pretty good. True Time Streets of LA. And also, the first Yakuza game. So, I cleaned both of these games, and I put them on my PS3 to try them, and they both work. So, yeah. Got the games, but I don't have no case, I mean, artwork or instruction manual, so. Try and be on the lookout.